Hello everyone, Oliver Dingley here, Irish Olympic diver, and I'm gonna take you through a few exercises today, specifically around the glutes area. Now in diving, it's really, really important to have strong glutes. It helps with your form, your posture, it helps you with your strength, and it also really, really helps you explode out of that diving board. So I'm gonna take you through a few of my favorite glute exercises, ones you can do at home. It's only a short workout, I hope you find it beneficial, and I hope you enjoy it. So, the first few exercises we're gonna do are actually laying down. See, glutes aren't that bad after all, you can do them laying down. We're gonna do three exercises on each side for 20 seconds each. So we're gonna lay on our side, like so. <clears throat> You're gonna have to find a nice neutral position. Try and stay a bit hollow in the chest and keep your toes touched. We're just gonna move our knees up and down for 20 seconds. Once 20 seconds is up, we're then gonna move our foot back, touch the floor, bring it forwards. In between each exercise, take about a 20 second rest and just have a nice little shake out. And the final 20 seconds, we're gonna bring our leg out. We're just gonna bring it up and down, trying to keep a nice neutral position. Right. Your break is up. So now we're gonna move on to some glute bridges. These are a really, really useful exercise. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. And when you get to the top of your glute bridge, really try squeeze your glute muscles. The next exercise, we're gonna do our hip hinges. It's really, really important to have a flexible lower back. It really helps keep you supple. So what we're gonna do for this one, we're gonna have our legs slightly apart and slightly bent. Our legs now aren't gonna move. We're gonna stay really, really tight in our abs and we're just gonna move forwards and back. We're gonna do this one for another 30 seconds. We're gonna do some single leg deadlifts. Now this one doesn't just target the glutes, it also targets the hamstrings as well. And I always find it really helpful to maybe have a bit of weight in my hands. So, any household stuff, you could even have a jar of sauce. But today, I'm gonna go with the squash. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. Right, for the next exercise, we're gonna be laying down again, but this time we're gonna be on our bellies. We're gonna be flat out on the floor, we're gonna lift one leg up 90 degrees, and we're slowly gonna pulse that up and down. Here we go, we're gonna do it for 30 seconds on each leg. Our last exercise now, and sometimes this one can burn a little. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on our side, we're gonna keep our bottom leg bent, our top leg though, we're gonna bring it over to a 90 degree angle, or as close as you can to a 90 degree angle. We're gonna keep that leg straight, and we're gonna try and move it around in small circles. Now, if you can get your foot as close as you can to face the ceiling, that will really, really help the exercise. But it does burn, so it's not your biggest priority. Just try bringing your leg to a 90 degree angle and move it around in those circles. We're gonna do it for 20 seconds on each side. So I hope you found today's exercises useful, hope you found them beneficial, and I hope they help you get stronger. 